All right, so I'm just going to demonstrate here how you would go about collecting an algae sample. Uh, if you do happen to come across what you suspect might be blue-green algae um, that you're concerned about, so first uh, we ask that you take a picture and send it into the office, like with a bit of a description, and we'll kind of go from there if, if it warrants bringing in a sample. And if that is the case, um, we recommend that you wear gloves just in case there are uh, algae toxins present. Um, so we're just going to pop these on. And if it looks like it's just really concentrated on the surface, uh, you can take your sample bottle and just dip it right in, uh, get a, just a small sample, and that's fine. If it's quite uh, distributed throughout the water and it's, it's hard to get a nice concentrated sample, um, you can use something like a yogurt tub. So just scoop up a, a bit of water here. And then I've provided folks with uh, coffee filters. So you can actually filter the water through here just to concentrate it down a bit. So we'll just pour that in. Oops. Just enough to sort of concentrate it. So when we pour it into the bottle, uh, it'll be easier for us to, to pick out some of those uh, algae cells and look at them under the microscope. We'll just let that drain out a bit. And when it looks like you can see a lot of the, the floaty stuff in there, you can tape your bottle and just fill it up. It doesn't take too much for us to, to be able to look at it uh, under the microscope. So that's all you need. Cap that. Uh, make sure you write the uh, date and where you're located um, in you know permanent marker and then pop that in the fridge until we're either able to collect it from you or you're able to drop it off at our Port Magnical office and then we'll have a look.